Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft Azure 900 exam. I am your host Kushal Mehta and let's get started. Question 127. Which group of data centers are connected by a fast network that is geographically separated in Azure? And the options are Option 1 Availability Zone Option 2 Region Option 3 Resource Group Option 4 Geography And the correct answer is Option 2 Region Explanation Option 2 is the correct answer. A group of data centers connected by a high-speed network that are geographically separated from each other in Azure is called a region. Option 1 is incorrect. An availability zone is a location within a unique physical region. Each zone consists of one or more data centers with independent power supplies, cooling means, and networks. Option 3 is incorrect. Use resource groups to define resources as a group. Resources with the same life cycle can be grouped together on the same resource group. When you delete a resource group, all the resources on it are also deleted. Option 4 is incorrect. Geography in any region of world that contains at least one Azure region. Region defines individual markets and maintains boundaries between data location and compliance. Question 128. True or false? The private cloud must be disconnected from the internet. And the options are Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 2. False. Explanation. The correct answer is false. You don't have to disconnect your private cloud from the internet. This is at the user's discretion, whether to disconnect or not. However, after connecting to internet from a private cloud, requests from the internet should be backlisted with an IP address or network security group using a network access control list. You can limit access. You can use virtual machines to further limit traffic from the internet. Question 129. Fill in the blank with appropriate option. All Azure services in public preview dash. Number 1. Are provided without documentation. Number 2. Can only be configured from the Azure CLI. Number 3. Are excluded from service level agreements. And number 4. Can only be configured from the Azure portal. And the correct answer is option 3 are excluded from service level agreements. Explanation. Option 3 is the correct answer. Azure Public Preview Service is excluded from SLAs. This is clearly stated in terms and conditions provided by Microsoft. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure keeps documentation for all services it provides to its users. Option 2 is incorrect. The Public Preview Azure Service can also be configured from the Azure portal. Option 4 is incorrect. The public preview Azure service can also be configured from Azure CLI. Question 130. Which cloud format allows users to use services that have already been created for subscription? And the options are Option 1. PAAS Option 2. IAAS Option 3. SAAS And Option 4. DAAS And the correct answer is Option 3. SAAS Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. Software as a service is a cloud-based software that allows you to use as many functions and services as you need. It may also refer to software that is available over the internet. Option 1 is incorrect. Platform as a service is a cloud format that provides a set of platforms such as hardware and OS for running application software as a service. Option 2 is incorrect. Infrastructure as a service is a cloud format that allows you to use hardware over the network. Option 4 is incorrect. Desktop as a service is a virtual desktop, a cloud service that provides a desktop virtualization system deployed in a cloud environment. Question 131. True or false? Outbound data traffic from Azure to your on-premises network is always free. And the options are Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 2. 
false. Explanation The correct answer is false as your express route is used to transfer data from your on-premises data center to Azure Public Cloud. When using express route to transfer data from Azure Public Cloud to an on-premises data center, users are charged for outbound data transfer. Question 132. True or false? There is a charge for data transfer between different Azure regions. And the options are Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 1. True. Explanation. True is the correct answer. There are additional costs for cross-region traffic and Azure AZ traffic. When you transfer data to resources in different regions, Azure charges you for outbound data transfer. Outbound transfers are charged, but inbound transfers are free. Question 133. Which cloud model is used for Azure Virtual Machines? And the options are Option 1. Infrastructure as a Service Option 2. Platform as a Service Option 3. Software as a Service Option 4. None of the above And the correct answer is Option 1. Infrastructure as a Service Explanation Option 1 is the correct answer. Infrastructure as a Service is an on-demand computing infrastructure that creates and manages virtual machines over the internet. Option 2 is incorrect. Platform as a Service provides hardware and OS for running application software as a service on the internet. Option 3 is incorrect. Software as a Service, a form of providing cloud-based applications via the internet. Common examples include email, calendars, and office tools, such as Microsoft Office 365. Question 134. What is the characteristics of cloud that refers to its continuous use even in the event of failure? And the options are Option 1. Low latency Option 2. Fault tolerance Option 3. Dynamic scalability Option 4. Pilot light And the correct answer is Option 2. Fault tolerance Explanation Option 2 is the correct answer. Fault tolerance is the ability to keep a system available in event of failure of one of its components. Azure recommends that you configure your application across multiple data centers to provide fault tolerance. You can easily achieve fault tolerance by using the cloud. Option 1 is incorrect. Low latency is incorrect because this is a characteristic of a system in which users can quickly access it from anywhere. Option 3 is incorrect. Dynamic scalability is incorrect because it means the ability of a system to grow and shrink based on user or system requirements. Option 4 is incorrect. Pilot light is used to prepare a stopped server in another region so that it can be used in the event of a failure. It is one of many services that can be used but it is not a characteristic and so is not the correct answer. Question 135 Please select the suitable option to fill in the following blank. Dash is a tool that provides guidance and recommendations for improving your Azure environment. Option 1. Azure Advisor Option 2. Azure Cognitive Services Option 3. Azure DevOps Option 4. Azure Application Insights And the correct answer is Option 1. Azure Advisor Explanation Option 1 is the correct answer. Azure Advisor is a service that analyzes the configuration and usage of your Azure environment and recommends the optimal configuration. Option 2 is incorrect. Azure Cognitive Services is a service that helps developers build intelligent applications without the need for skills and knowledge of AI and data science. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure DevOps is a service that provides you with the tools you need to plan smarter, collaborate more efficiently, and publish your applications faster. Option 4 is incorrect. Azure Application Insights is a feature of Azure Monitor, an application performance management service. The application performance management service allows you to monitor running applications and automatically detect performance anomalies and use built-in analytics tools to see what your users do on your app. Question 136. You are an Azure subscription for multiple projects. You need to have separate usage reports for each project. 
which is the best solution in this case? And the options are Option 1, Tax Settings Option 2, Resource Group Settings Option 3, Azure Policy Settings Option 4, Resource Category Settings And the correct answer is Option 1, Tax Settings Explanation Option 1 is the correct answer. To separate usage reports by project, assign tags to resources so that you can categorize them by that project's tag. After that, you can create a usage report based on these tags. Option 2 is incorrect. Resource group settings are a mechanism that allows you to organize the life cycle of resources, but it cannot be used to split reports into separate projects. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure policies can grant usage permissions for resources, but they are not used for splitting usage reports into separate projects. Option 4 is incorrect. There is no function called resource categories setting. Question 137. The company plans to build a commission critical system with Azure virtual machines. Deployment of mission critical system requires the use of Azure solutions. This solution should guarantee 99.99% availability. What is the minimum number of availability zones and virtual machines to be deployed for this mission critical system? Select two options. Option 1. 3x virtual machines. Option 2. 2x virtual machines. Option 3. 4x virtual machines. Option 4. 1x AZ. Option 5. 2x AZ. Option 6. 3x AZ. And the correct answer is Option 2. 2x virtual machines. And Option 5. 2x AZ. Explanation. Option 2 and 5 are the correct answers. Based on the Azure Virtual Machine SLA, the minimal number of availability zones to guarantee 99.99% availability is 2. And at least one virtual machine can be started in each availability zone to create a redundant configuration. SLA 99.99% availability is guaranteed by using two virtual machines, one for each of the two AZ. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our premium AZ bundle with 90% off. Check link in the description.